from Tax Accounting Adelaide. And today I'm going to go through uh, areas where our clients could give us more information just to claim their deductions better. And if if you you want to listen to some of the, the tips to just improve and get more out of your deductions. Uh, just, uh, I'm in tax season 2022. Uh, it's been a good start to the year. Um, I'm recording this in August, but yeah, so far uh, ATO hasn't been too active in stopping many refunds going out to our clients um, and um, continued processing of quick refunds as, as, as quick as five days. Some tax returns are coming back out, so that's good to see. Well done, ATO. Um, so, yeah, let's start with some of the most common areas I want to uh, explain. Some of our clients are probably being a little bit vague and, and not coming in with enough information when we're seeing them in front of and doing their tax interviews. Um, probably the, one of the most common ones is calculating your work, working from home hours. So, to be honest, the ATO wants you to keep a, a diary of working from home hours. So we've found that a lot of clients coming in quite vague about how many hours they're actually working from home rather than and maybe perhaps making it up or just going by vague, oh, th there was this amount of time uh, per, per week, whereas the ATO really does want you to have a, like a weekly diary of the amount of hours you're doing when you're working from home. So if you do that, um, or at least calculate that based on your diary records before you come in and come in with uh, the actual amount of hours you've worked through the through the years that you want to claim, whether that's uh, paid or sometimes not um, not paid. So sometimes it can be more than your 38 or 40 hours a week. Um, yeah, that's that'll be great for you to to claim that better that way. Another common one is uh, claiming your work related car travel. So typically some people are coming in without a real uh, defined uh, idea of how many kilometres they've done for work-related car travel. So being vague on that in front of us is, is, is an ideal. What you should be doing is doing what the ATO wants, and that's to keep a diary of your kilometres travelled for work um, at the time of doing the work-related travel. So really you need to have a date of your travel uh, purpose of the travel, so for instance, a site visit with tools um, for a tradesman or um, say maybe a, uh, someone working in disability, a visit to client's house uh, with a name of the client's house, for instance, <clears throat> or, the, or the address and the amount of kilometres travelled. And then at the end of the year, you total up the, the kilometres for the financial year. And obviously, that's really all you need to give your, your accountant like me is the, the kilometres you travel for the end of the year, keeping those records of the diary in your in your tax records as well. Um, some people are actually travelling a lot uh, for work uh, for, and, and doing well over the 5,000 kilometres or spending a lot more than you can claim with the cents per kilometre method and haven't done a logbook or kept their car running costs, such as petrol, registration, insurance services at all. So if you're doing that, then um, we are giving that information to people and trying to educate people on how to do the logbook and keep all your running costs when you when you are having substantial car costs relating to your work. Uh, but yeah, it, it, feel free to ask for that information if that applies to yourself. Uh, another area is, um, dates purchased and amounts for um, major items such as home office equipment, computers and electronic devices or tools which are particularly over 300 or well over 300. Um, so some people are claiming things such as new computers for working at home or desks and, and things like that. So you need to depreciate those and not write them off over one year. You also need to have a percentage that you're using them for work and, and a private percentage as well. So if you can have those, an idea of how you've calculated those as well, that's good for your tax return as well. Um, and also in general, it's just telling us how much your deductions were. So 
uh, you, of course, you've got to keep receipts and you've got to let us know the, the, the amounts that they are. ATO doesn't really want you to guess or look it up on Google how much things cost. They want to know how, exactly how much you spent and kept your receipt for. So it's important to be specific and defined on that as well. Just on your receipts, make sure you're keeping your receipts. You don't have to show your account on all of them. The onus is on you to keep them for five years after your tax return has been completed and just show them and make them available to the ATO if they wish to audit your tax returns. Um, of course, you should only claim the work-related portion. Shouldn't claim things reimbursed by your work as well. Um, yeah, that's a quick summary. of Some of the things that you, some, some of our clients uh, have been doing that you can probably do a little bit, uh, have a little bit more homework done before you come in to see us. Um, yeah, so I'm Romeo from Tax Accounting Adelaide. Hope to see you soon. If you haven't already booked in for your tax return, uh, feel free to book in uh, either calling us or visit our website and you book, book in online. Thank you. Bye.